hi she was seven so today I'm going to make a video on two topics okay the first topic is equality now all these people in the comments on some of my videos especially the men they're always talking about oh y'all have equal rights now so y'all have to pay and uh, everything should be split down the middle and equal and in the household and everything like that but there's a problem with that y'all and I'm not trying to say if your household is like that you know you're wrong but think about the effects of this in the future okay if I have a partner a man a woman um, you know straight gay whatever if my partner or my husband or my wife or whoever is equal to me and they can do everything I can do no more no less then why do I need them exactly I don't need them now you're saying okay well what about what if you want them what if you're very attracted to them and what if they're like the best person ever but you're only equal that's fine okay when that feeling wears off when you start to see you know their flaws and sometimes you get tired of them they don't have any leverage you know they can't say well I do this well or I'm really you know superior in this because they're equal to you you know there's nothing that they can do that you can't do you know so that's where the issues come in and then that's where a lot of you know replacement comes in like okay well I can replace you with somebody better somebody who's better than you who has you know you know who's a little bit higher so I can look up to them so they can teach me something so you know they can take care of me when I'm in need you know there's there's no you know hand out to me you know this is this is sexy to me you know this is what I find appealing now because you know with you every month you're coming to me with your hands out it's it's getting old you know I want to go shopping I see my girls you know they get to do this and that because they have men who support them and don't look for them when rent rolls around when when the rent is due they don't they don't go looking for them <laughs> you know so it might work in the beginning but as time passes and they see you know how other women are treated by their men how other men are generous towards their woman and they're still struggling with you or struggling with a man they're gonna get tired of that it's gonna get old to them they're gonna start wanting more and one or two things is gonna happen when they start wanting more and you can't give it to them they're gonna either go get it from someone else or they're going to become greater than you they're gonna outgrow you okay they're gonna be like okay well my man can't afford to buy me this this, this and that and I want this I've come to a point in my lifestyle where I want to have nice things all my co-workers at work have nice things I'm sitting here struggling with this guy I'm gonna you know I'm gonna go further my education and get what I need and then their man becomes the loser in the relationship their man becomes subpar now they're looking to upgrade okay now they're looking to upgrade on a man because they can't do anything for them anymore and they're kind of holding them back in life and in lifestyle okay so that's why I always say it's better to get someone who can do something for you who you can look up to who can teach you things who can teach you how to become better financially um, you know who can teach you how to you know uh, know certain things about you know getting ahead in your career if you have a career somebody who can take care of you and you don't have to worry about sleeping with your boss or missing work because your child is sick or sending your kid to daycare after school when you decide to have a baby you won't see him or her for but one or two hours a day because you're so busy hustling trying to pay half that rent that your man has his hand out for I'm telling y'all this is not this is not a good life okay and anyone who lives that life I see them I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all it is you know sometimes people are in survival mode and they have to do things because they did things out of order they got married they had kids too soon they weren't prepared so they have to deal with their consequence but if you're you know still in planning stages you haven't had children you haven't gotten married and you have the opportunity to plan things out plan it 
and make it so that you don't have to stick your kid in daycare for 12 hours. Plan it so you can actually raise your own child. Plan it so that you don't have to look down on your man because now you've got promoted and you're in a higher position than he is and now he's not even turning you on anymore because he's beneath you, okay? Plan it so that he's gonna grow over you and you're gonna grow under him because you can't look up to a man with his hand out. I'm just sorry, okay? You can't, I can't. To me, I would see him as a child or a little brother or someone I need to boss around and tell what to do because I'm obviously more financially and mentally superior than him if he can't get on my level. That's all I'm saying. I mean, that might not be the truth, but that's how I'm going to feel about the situation. That's how I'm gonna feel about him. I'm gonna be like, you know what? You don't know what you're talking about. You're just this, you're just that, do you know? I have this title, I'm a this, I'm a that, you know, psh, your opinion is not valuable to me anymore because I'm higher than you. So when you get someone equal, make sure they have, um, you know, guaranteed, guaranteed, not just hopeful potential, but guaranteed potential. Like, you know, like they're about to pass the bar or they're in their residency or something like that not you know oh I want to be a rapper oh I want to be a basketball player or oh I want to start this new business and I have these all these ideas every two weeks I have a new idea of how to get rich no you need to be on your way guaranteed with a job lined up okay otherwise that potential is only potential it's not going to help you or your kids your future generations or anything it's not going to help you you have to be on your way there about to step through the door okay or already there so ladies i know y'all are all about love and men are like what happened to the love the love is always going to be there because two people can love each other and they can figure out how to be close to one another but what two people can't do is secure their future generations if they're always struggling, okay? This is not about now, this is not about you. It's about your future and your future offspring, you know? Would you rather be with somebody, oh, you were just so in love with, he makes your heart go pitter-patter, um, and then it wears off in about seven years and you're stuck with someone you have to struggle with and your children don't have anything, you know, when you, when you die and you lived life because you followed uh, what you thought was right and you struggled with someone and now your kids are gonna suffer for it? No, that's not right and that's not fair. If, you're, if you decide that you're gonna be with a man and struggle, do not have kids. Do not have kids, why? Because they're gonna be mad at you when they grow up and they're wanting certain things and you can't get it for them. You know, they're gonna look down on you. They're gonna say, okay, well, how come this kid can have it and I can't? Why, you know? Why do we have to struggle? We didn't ask for this life. You know, so plan your plan your stuff ahead. Plan the kind of man you want. Plan the kind of woman you want. Don't just follow your heart. Follow your brain. Follow your follow your mind and your heart. Don't just follow your heart because that that's not wise. It's kind of foolish, you know. Um, that's why you have both. A brain and a heart so that you can use logic and you can use you know your emotion but you never let your emotion make a decision you always think about it with your mind after that feeling has passed because we all know feelings are temporary but ideas are not okay thoughts often are plans for your future and you can't build a future on oh he gives me butterflies he makes me feel good you can't plan a future on that and your kids aren't going to understand that when they're looking up at you wondering why they only see you for two hours a day they're not going to understand that so i'm just telling y'all before y'all start y'all's families if y'all already have a family to rethink it if you're in the market for a new spouse new mate rethink it okay
do what's best for your future, not what's best for your emotions because those are temporary and those don't last forever. And next week you're going to be feeling something different. Okay. Okay. So the next subject I'm going to cover is, okay, someone asked me a question. Okay. What if you're in love with someone deeply in love and they don't call you for two weeks? Well, they don't love you. Okay. They're obviously doing something else with someone else. If they haven't called you in two weeks, you love them more than they love you. They know this, and that's why they don't call you because they know as soon as they decide that they have some time to spare for you, that you will actually pick up the phone or text them back after two weeks. They know this because they know you don't value yourself. They know you will sit around and wait around for them because they know you love them more than they love you, if they even love you at all. You're like the person that is always gonna be there even if they do the worst thing to you. You're always going to be there because you have a low self a low self value to sit around and wait on someone for two weeks. If it were me, if you didn't call me back after two, two days, I'm over you. I'm done. Okay. When I call, if I'm important, you're going to answer me back within two days unless you're dead or in the hospital. If you're not dead or in the hospital, then it's pretty much over. Okay. And that's just, I don't give people the benefit of the doubt because I know that if someone is calling me, I'm going to get back with them in one or two days at the longest. Okay. Even, even my mother, I will call her back the same day. Um, if, if anybody called me, I'm going to call them back the same day or the next day. Okay. And I will be stretching it to say, I'm going to call them back the next day. That is rude and and it's, it's, it's not right. So if they don't call you back in the same day, unless they're dead or in a hospital or a coma, move on because that is a red flag and you cannot make any excuses for it. There's no excuses you can make for somebody not calling you back. There's none. Okay. And I, I lost my phone. I've been busy. Those are all excuses that are code for, I was with somebody else. I wasn't thinking about you. I only talk to you and call you when this other person is unavailable or when they piss me off. You are not my number one. You are an afterthought. That's what they're telling you, okay? Because, you know, if you love someone and you're crushing on someone and you're dating someone, as soon as they call, you're like, texting them right back with smileys and emoticons and sending pictures and gifts and all that stuff. You don't wait two weeks to do that, do you? Okay, so obviously they don't love you and they don't feel the same way about you. So move on and stop making excuses for him. Stop trying to say, oh, how can I get him to pay attention to me? You can't, he's not interested in you. Okay, move on. Find someone who loves you or likes you or pays more attention to you than you do them. That's, that's the key. That's how you're gonna get the treatment that you deserve. You can't go for somebody you know, obviously, it's not going to put you number one. You got to go for somebody who's going to worship you. You got to go for somebody who's going to buy you stuff. Who's going to say, hey, I love you. I want you to be happy. Here, what do you need? What do you want? Can I help you? You know, can I take you out? Can I buy you lunch? Is there anything you need for me to do? I love you. Um, heart, emoticon, smiley. You know, morning text, evening text, good night, I love you. This is how you know he wants you and is interested in you. Not, oh, I was busy. Oh, I couldn't get to the phone. Oh, I was swamped with work. That's just not true. That's just excuses. And if you fall for them, you deserve what you get. Because actions speak louder than words, okay? All right, I'll see y'all later. And oh, one more tip because it's almost Valentine's Day. If you get an invitation to go out prior to Valentine's Day this weekend, decline it because you're an afterthought. <clears throat> you weren't the first choice and obviously their first choice did not come through. So if he hadn't asked you to be his Valentine's by now, decline to be your own Valentine's, okay? All right, see y'all later. Bye.